Good morning, this is Pastor Keith Hodges, and I want to welcome you today to Everyday Sunday. It is Tuesday morning. I hope your week is off to an amazing start. Psalms 118 verse 24 says, This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. And I hope that today uh, you're finding something to celebrate about the goodness of the Lord and rejoice in Him this morning. Well, today I want to share with you a message simply entitled, The Banks of the River. The Banks of the River, and I want us to look in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 and 17. The Bible says this, all scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and it teaches us to do what is right. And look at verse 17, God uses it. God uses the scripture to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. Years ago, I met a young lady. She was young in the faith, and she was very much in love with Jesus, very excited about being saved, and she was purposely, to the best of her ability, living for God. And as Kelly and I were talking to her and uh, we were interacting with this young lady, uh, all of a sudden, I heard her say something about the Bible, and she said she really didn't read the Bible, and she didn't embrace the Bible because she felt like the Bible, the Scriptures, were just a bunch of rules and regulations that bound us as believers and kept us from living the life God has for us. And I had an amazing opportunity, Kelly and I, as we ministered to that young lady, really just to challenge her thinking uh, and to ask her to reevaluate how she looked at the Bible and looked at scriptures as a New Testament Christian following after the heart of God. And I want to share with you today what uh, we were able to share with her many years ago, and that is simply this, a very simple revelation that the Lord gave me years ago. He said, Keith, he said the Word of God, the Scripture, is like the banks of a river. And think about that. God's Word doesn't bind us. God's Word empowers us to stay in the river. Like the banks of the river, the banks of the river do not weaken the river. The banks of the river create some parameters that allows the river to run faster and further than it ever could. As a matter of fact, if you remove the banks of the river, you get a swamp and not a river. And unfortunately, there are a lot of swampy Christians, right? There are a lot of Christians that love God, they've been saved, and they're trying to follow the Lord, but they've not embraced the power of Scripture. And because they've not embraced the Word of God and the Scripture and the truth of Jesus Christ, their lives really do not have power. And they're not running the race, they're not living the life, they're not pursuing the purpose that God has for them. Why? Because if you remove the banks from the river, you get a swamp that just seeps into all different places. There's no focus to Direction, there's no momentum and there is no power. But the banks of the river make the water powerful. And I just want to encourage you today. I don't know what your love of the Word of God looks like. I don't know how much you embrace Scripture. But listen to what Paul said. All Scripture is inspired by God. And it is useful to teach us what is true, right? Here's one of the banks of the river. It teaches us what is true because if you don't know truth, Jesus said you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free. So it's the truth that keeps us in the river in the river of God. It's the truth that keeps us flowing and going in the Holy Spirit so we can live the life God has for us. And then the other side of the bank of the river, it makes us realize what is true and it makes us realize, the Bible says, what is wrong in our lives. So the Word of God teaches us what is true and it helps us to realize what is wrong in all of a sudden, I've got these banks. When I recognize what is wrong, these are the things I shouldn't do, and here's the things I should do. Here's the truth of Scripture, and here's the revelation of what sin will do in my life. When I live within the banks of that river, guess what happens? I'm flowing and going in the Holy Spirit. I'm walking in the Spirit. I'm living in the Spirit. I'm in unison with God, and there is purpose, and there is direction. There is momentum, and there is power in that river that comes from the banks of of the Word of God. And so I want to encourage you today, embrace Scripture. Let the Word of God work in your life. Listen to what Paul said in verse 17. Not only does it teach us what is right and corrects us when we're wrong, but look what he says. God uses, what does he use? The Scripture, the Word of God, to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. Every good thing that God wants to do in your life, God uses the Scripture. He uses the Word of God to prepare you. It prepares your heart. Why? Because it gives you the revelation of truth and it purifies your heart so you can be ready to receive and be used by God. It keeps us in the Spirit. He prepares us and equips us. The Word of God 
gives us the resources that we need. It gives us the wisdom, the discernment, the direction, the insight, the understanding that we need to win the war that we're fighting and finish the race that God has called us to. So I would encourage you today, embrace the banks of the river. Allow the scripture, the word of God to teach you what is right, teach you the truth, correct you when you're wrong, and keep you flowing and going in the spirit of God. He is the river of life. And when we live in the spirit, we live in life. So I encourage you today, embrace the word of God, allow the truth and the correction of scripture to keep you flowing and going so you can live the life that God has for you. God bless you today as you fall in love afresh today with the word of God.